Hi there, this is Dario from the Full Dome database and I do apologize for the way this video looks. I'm home and I look exhausted. I actually am exhausted. I've been playing the entire night with what I'm going to show you in just a moment. And I am referring to the use of artificial intelligence to generate content for Dome, which I believe is going to be a work first. And I'm going to show this to you. I can't wait to see what you guys are going to come up with in the next months. The powerful uh, tool we have in our hands is available for free to anyone. So I really believe this is a huge leap into um, something new. So we have been playing with you know AI, with ChatGPT in the last months. Uh, we've been discussing about the use of ChatGPT, but now there are platforms where you can actually use artificial intelligence to generate images. And what I did try was to use those platforms to try to generate a fisheye output of whatever I wanted. And if, again, the, the, the power of those tools you know, it's just huge and, but enough talking. I want to show it to you. So I'll post the video and record the screen. Stable Diffusion is a free software that can be installed on both Windows and Mac computers. I'm running it on a Mac and this is actually Google Chrome. So as you can see, I'm connected to a local IP address that is made available through my terminal app, which is running on the site. And it, it's actually where the Stable Diffusion core is running. So I'm connected to it and the uh, Stable Diffusion GUI opens like this. And you can do many things. And um, of course, we're going to focus on how to produce content for the dome. First field is the Stable Diffusion checkpoint. This is the this is a sort of model that the AI will use to generate the image. Models can be trained. So depending on the output you are after, uh, you may want to pick different uh, models. Because I'm after some photorealism, I'm going to pick this one, Realistic Vision version 13. I'm going to click on image to image. Uh, this is the tab we're going to look at. This is the, uh, the tool we're going to use to produce content for the dome. This is the field where you describe what you want to have in the image. This is the negative prompt, so what you don't want to have in the image. You can provide a reference, uh, an image reference, to be used by the AI to generate the output. And other numbers that maybe I will explain later. Okay, so let's describe what we want to uh, have in the image. Of course, it's for the dome, so we want to have a fisheye distorted photo of of a cat, maybe. Of course, we want a cat. And then we are describing uh, the image a little more. So the cat is near the camera, and maybe around the cat there are skyscrapers. Uh, maybe the sky is blue, the sun is shining, there are some white clouds in the sky, and I think that's enough. So we want to have a cat near the camera. The cat would be um, around the cat. There are skyscrapers, that's okay. The sky is blue, the sun is shining, there are some white clouds in the sky, I like that. And then I'm gonna paste some keywords that I uh, put together last night doing my sort of experiments, which is wide angle photo, raw photo, photorealism, distortion, circular image, and so on. Again, for the negative prompts, I'm gonna use other keywords that I selected last night. And as a reference image, I'm gonna pick a fisheye image uh, that is just provided to the system to make the AI understand better what I want. So 
I'm going to use an image that was uh, uploaded to AfterDB by my Egyptian friend. It's a photo of the pyramid and and we we will not see anything of this, but it will be used by the AI to generate the output. Then uh, sampling steps. This is interesting. This is the number of steps the AI will do, um, will make from the noise from the first image evolving into the final image. So 25 is the number I found to be quite accurate for the result I want. Something else interesting, seed. Um, this is a minus one. Uh, minus one means it's random. So every time you generate a new image, it will be different. If you like one of the new images, you will copy the seed of that image. I will show you in a moment where it is. You will paste it here. And from that moment, the AI will keep elaborating on that particular image that you like. So let's get started. We start from this image and let's see what the AI does. It takes about 15 seconds on my system to create an image. And there it is. It's, it's a bit raw right now. Now it's finished. Remember the description, fisheye distorted photo of a cat. The cat is near the camera. Around the cat, there are skyscrapers. So the sky is blue, the sun is shining. There are some white clouds in the sky. <clears throat> and here is the image, which is amazing. <laughs> I like this so much. Let's, let's say we want to uh, maybe remove the skyscrapers and say the cat is in a beautiful park and there is grass everywhere. Generate. Let's see what the... Oh, I forgot to change the seat number. I will do that later. And there it is. We still have the same cat that we liked. We, we locked the seed number of the cat. And, and now we don't have skyscrapers anymore. We have the park, we have the clouds, we have the sun, we have the grass everywhere. But let's remove the cat. Let, let's say we want a photo of a, you know, it's the centennial years of the German. We want a German little uh, child, girl, so that it's more specific. The girl is near the camera, I like that. The girl is in the park, is in a beautiful park. The girl is looking, is smiling and looking at the camera. The girl, yeah, that's, that's okay. So let's put the minus one number to have something random and let's generate the new image and I'm excited let's see and there it is <laughs> this is amazing guys I had to share this with you basically any planetarium can now you know produce content for the dome like out of its imagination and just you know describing what they want without having the equipment without having the setting we have without having the German little girl and I think it's just amazing. And of course, you, you, you can increase the batch count. So with number four, you will have four different um, you know, iterations of the same algorithm with different um, noise to be elaborated into an image. I know it sounds complicated, but once you spend a few hours on this, you can master um, the, the entire tool. And, and then you can keep improving what you have and you can create whatever you need for your dome. So the reason why I decided to publish this video right away is because I'm not an artist and those are just some tests I did on my computer. But I can't wait to see what you guys, the community, the, the worldwide planetarium community will come up with uh, this free tool. Look, um, I, I just think this is awesome. 
I just think this is awesome. So again, uh, thank you for watching. I will um, publish this video on maybe on Facebook and please share it with your friends uh, because I believe it is it is something. I think it's a big leap and I can't really wait to see even at conferences this topic to be discussed among us. Anyway, thank you for watching. I apologize if it's a bit long and you know homemade, but I hope you will like it. you will like it. Ciao.